Welcome to the Camden Opera House. I'm Dave Morrison, Opera House Manager. It's great to have you with us. And for the folks that are here in the house, thank you so much for wearing a mask. We're doing our best to follow Maine CDC guidelines and to look out for the safety and comfort of our staff and our performers and our neighbors while still offering you the very best show we can. So thank you for your help. We appreciate it. This Soundcheck program, like all of our free live stream events, is supported by your donations to the Community Arts Fund. You can help keep this series going by donating at camdenoperahouse.com. And if you have already, thank you so much. I want to take a minute to thank all the people who make the Soundcheck shows possible. Our friends at WERU, our local sponsors and partners, our wonderful volunteers, and most of all, our staff, Juniper and Libby, Dagny, Matt, and Beth. Tonight's artist is wonderfully complex. She's a singer-songwriter who plays solo shows. She sings and plays guitar in the band Natural High Jumble. She plays sax in the bands 1111, Love Licks, and low pressure movement, and is rumored to have an alter ego. But more important than any of this is her enchanting voice. Please join me in welcoming Lindsay Mower. Hello. <laughs> I want to start by saying thank you so much, everybody, for being here. I could not be more grateful that you're here to listen to the music tonight, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Stay a while, won't you? Make me smile. Cause my soul is spun and our work is done. Let's have some fun. Taste the night, won't you? Hold the flashlight. We laugh and run as we watch the moon. Get you higher than you've ever been. And when the night is over, I'll help you plant your roots in the soil again. Don't be shy. Don't you make me wonder why I've come undone. Never met someone. quite like you Someone 
quite like you. Oh, I've come undone. Never met someone quite like you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to play you all original music tonight. My name is Lindsay Moore. I'm a songstress from St. Albans, Maine. I'm on a little tour across Maine right now, a solo tour, and I'm having a lot of fun. It's good to be home. So I'm going to play you a song that I wrote with my mom about my grandma when we were camping in Mount Luce State Park. This one's called Shirley May. trying to think of all the influences of, in my life tonight, all the muses I've had that have helped influence my style. And I would like to thank tonight Patrick Martin for showing me Shaky Graves, who really influenced my picking style on acoustic guitar. So thank you, Patrick. <laughs> 
I'm going to play you another original song here. The song is called Why Does Water Burn? And uh, it's kind of about how um, if we can't touch on land, can we touch underwater, maybe? <laughs> to have some feedback. I spent a lot of time playing into a computer screen over the last 18 months, and this is really special. I really do feel very grateful to have an audience. Thank you for coming out tonight. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I feel pretty fabulous these days, honestly. <laughs> I've been spending some time in Vermont um, in the Mad River Valley area. And I wrote a nice little love song about that, so I'm going to play that for you now. It's called Love in the Mad River Valley. I fell in love back then, fell in love though I didn't want to. 
You fell too, did you? Sad to say I couldn't be there to spot you I didn't know that life would go this way Till the years passed by me Now we're floating Down river, baby And you're driving Ice through the mad river Yellow everything as you smiled at my son And I thought, hmm, catch and release, fall in love This time I really want to Cause I didn't know that it would be like this And it's happening We're swimming Naked in the water, baby And you're driving Ice through the mountains Put in 40 hours, dear Want to make sure that you stay near Cause I am rich and I'll give you Part of my wealth We're floating the mad river valley don't you be so sad cause life's not that bad love in the mad river valley oh how bad can that be when you found love in the mad river valley oh how bad can that be when you found love in the mad river Thank you. That one's fun for me to play. I like to play my new songs because they feel so current to how I feel right now. Um, and there's a, a songwriter in Burlington, Vermont, Eric George, who I really want to accompany that song. So I'm hoping we can make it a duet at some point. But if you haven't heard of Eric George already, he's an amazing artist in that area. So check him out. You'll like his music. You really will. <laughs> So one of my best friends uh, got in a car accident recently, and it really woke me up to the miracle of life and living in the moment, and how you never know when it's the last time that you might see somebody, you know? And so it, um, this experience really touched me. Hi, James, if you're watching. <laughs> uh, and I wrote a song about it. It's called 1111. Together forever, it's such a long time. No words exchanged, will you still sleep by my side? Cause we don't know when we're going home. see each other again oh, oh, oh it's not a race it's a marathon we got plenty of time 11 11 here comes the sunshine we 
don't know when we're going home if we'll see each other such a long time no words exchanged will you still sleep by my side eleven eleven here comes the sunshine eleven Plenty of space and time I'm gonna get it right I'm gonna get it right Got plenty of time Plenty of space and time No quantum rewind Eleven, eleven, here comes the sunshine. Eleven, eleven, here comes the sunshine. Thank you. That one also feels good to play currently. And James' favorite number is 22, so it's kind of ironic that the song's called 1111. So I used to write a lot of sad songs, and I think I still do. They have an element of sadness to them, but they kind of inspire hope these days. And um, I'm really pushing towards the light as much as I can while also trying to keep my music relatable to what pain might be out there and trying to heal that at the same time as guiding people towards the light. Um, and so <laughs> this next song that I'm going to play for you, it's called Peace of Mind. And it's about that moment when I realized that everything that I've been searching for has been inside myself all along. And uh, it's hard to remember that you have that power. And sometimes it's easy, and it's beautiful when you just tap into that. But um, sometimes it's hard. And so after I realized this and wrote this song, uh, my life hasn't been the same since, and it's felt really good and like I'm going in the right direction. So this is, that's my chapter now. This one's called Peace of Mind. just left it wet hanging on the clothesline now I see the light in me I never seen it before kept myself love hidden under bolted doors it's been so strange along the way the mistakes that I've made the 
consequences we've all faced Now I see the light in me I've never seen it before Now I've always felt unpure or, mm. And I wasn't ready back then, but I'm ready now But I really wish I didn't have to beg myself So I'm singing Come on, come on, come on And take me back I'm begging myself singing Come on, come on, come on And take me back Come on, come on, come on And take me back I'm begging myself singing Come on, come on, come on And take me the time. I just left it wet hanging on the clothesline. Now I see the light in me. I've never seen it before. Get myself love hidden under bolted doors. It's been so strange along the way. The mistakes that I've made. The consequences we've all back then but I'm ready now but I still really wish I didn't have to beg myself so I'm singing come on come on come on and take me back I'm begging myself singing come on come on come on and take me back come on come on and take me back I'm begging myself singing come on come on come on take me take me back oh, no, no. take me take me back oh, no, no. take me I wasn't ready back then, but I'm ready now. And I finally found my peace of mind. And it's been here all the time. I just left it wet hanging on the clothesline. Another one that feels good to sing. It, it's nice to have a um, sort of audience tonight where I can play all my favorites. <laughs> it feels really good. Uh, so this is an interesting time for me. I have been playing music as Lindsay Moore since high school and all through college and up until this point in history. And um, what most people, I guess, experience as writer's block is what I've been going through. And it's been quite a struggle, but I haven't felt like I couldn't produce anything that anyone wants to hear that's worth anything, that I can even write a song, you know, that, ho that whole sort of thing. Until a moment um, very recently when I was granted a new name by a great friend of mine in Burlington, Vermont, Anakin River, and the name was Lulu Moss. And it felt right. And I was like, man, I'm so bored with Lindsay Moore. I want to be this new character, Lulu Moss. I feel like Lulu Moss has something to say. And so I booked myself one more tour as Lindsay Moore. And you're here tonight. 
And <laughs> after this, actually, this is, this is the end of Lindsay Moore and all of her music. Um, and I do plan to get it out there, recorded, and release it so that you can continue to enjoy it if you like. But um, for myself as an artist, it feels like a necessary step to recreate who I want to be and um, help revision that character to get this music out. And I really do hope that um, if you enjoy what I have to bring to you tonight, that you continue to follow my artistry because it would mean a lot to me to have your support through this transition because I do feel absolutely insane. And I don't know why I want to be a new person and I'm still lacking the words to be able to arc articulate this change. But all I know is that it feels necessary um, for my responsibility as an artist to continue to produce as much as I can. And so I'm gonna leave it at that. But um, yeah, thank you for coming to see Lindsay Moore. And I hope that you come to see Lulu Moss next time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tune up real quick and I'm gonna do a Joni Mitchell cover. This is called Woodstock. walking on the road and I asked him where are you going and this he told me going on down the askers farm gonna join in a rock and roll band I'm gonna camp out on the
And I dreamed I saw the bombers right in been really inspired by Joni Mitchell in the past couple years, so I hope she doesn't mind <laughs> that I played her song. I'm going to play you a song that I wrote when I was 15, and this was a song that I wrote to myself. And I called it Lady. Lately, I've been calling it Lulu. And it's just um, something that has helped me keep going. <clears throat> so any young girl, I think this is a song too. you just right there you know you always seem to focus yeah when you're choking yeah face it lady just when you think you've lost your mind your passion is not far behind you just gotta know how to take it Lulu, I know that you've been scared Feeling slightly underprepared I just know that you will find your way You'll fill your life with brighter days So when you finally feel the beat A rhythm pumping in the street you know that you will find your space And make your life a better place All you gotta do is search for a trace Of any sign that'll let you take it Love your life cause you're in control You know that you got a better role Another character that you got to unfold Then your heart won't be aching I 
another character that you got to unfold Then you learn how to make it Another character that you got to unfold Till then you learn how to fake it Hey Lulu, I know that you've been scared Feeling slightly underprepared I just know that you will find a way And you'll fill your life with brighter days So when you finally feel the beat A rhythm pumping in the street You know that you will find your space and make your life a better place All you gotta do is search for a trace Of any sign that'll let you take it Love your life cause you're in control You know that you got a better role Another character that you got to unfold Then you learn how to make it now the character that you got to unfold, oh, then your heart won't be aching. Another character that you got to unfold, until then you learn how to fake it. Thank you. I'm going to lift, list off a bunch of people that have inspired me lately. James Mushler, John Luther, Anakin River, Forrest Keys, Gilbane Peck, Andy, I don't know his last name. <laughs> I've been meeting so many amazing cats. Um, actually, over the last 18 months that have uh, inspired me and helped me stay positive in a, in a wonderful goal orient, positive goal orient. I don't know if that makes sense. But um, so many people to thank, and I'm going to keep doing that as I can remember, remember who they are. And um, I hope that maybe you feel some of their spirit come through me and that you've enjoyed the music tonight. So thank you. I'm going to just ask real quick, any questions for me? No? Huh? How did I get it? Well, I've been really fascinated lately with Charlotte's Web and the author E.B. White. And um, I found out recently, I was the featured artist of the week for Blue Hill WERU Radio, and found out that Charlotte's Web is based off in the Blue Hill Fair. Um, and the character, the girl in Charlotte's Web, her name was Fern. And so I kind of thought Lulu Moss, because Lulu is my oldest uh, nickname. And I also am raising pigs right now, so my life feels like a simulation of Charlotte's Web. <laughs> they're so cute. And actually, they ha they're going to go home. They're going to be slaughtered at the end of September, which is kind of around fair time. So I just feel like I'm learning the, the lesson that E.B. White wanted um, the readers of Charlotte's Web to learn. So that's kind of it. And it's, it also sounds cool. I really like it. <laughs> Anything else? Transition from guitar. Are you just you know, through high school, you were a bass player, you're still a bass player? Yes. I actually don't consider myself a guitar player at all. This is just the instrument that I picked up when I realized that I had something to say and I wanted to write music and um, deliver a message. It made it possible because you can't, play, you can't sing or speak with a saxophone in your mouth. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> thank you. That means a lot. Yeah, I do play the saxophone all the time, and I play saxophone with um, these Vermont-based groups, 1111, Love Licks, Low Pressure Movement, and I, I hope to continue that. 
um, all the time. I actually, ha I have a show coming up in Maine with that I'm going to be playing sax with. That's at Hideout at the Wharf in Hollowell, Maine, October 22nd. I will be there, and the band name is Lulu Moss and the Girl Bro Piglets. <laughs> And it's kind of just like a jam band sort of thing, so it gets really weird. So if you're up for like some crazy stuff, you should come hang out. <laughs> Any more questions before I go to my next song? Thank you. So I do some in-home hospice sort of health care stuff sometimes, some private work. And I had a patient named Gloria who... Um, she ended up moving in with her daughter in New York, so it was the end of our time together. And when she left, she left me her 92 Oldsmobile vehicle. And I wrote this song about it. It's called Gloria. well more than that oh Gloria I know that you miss me too just remember that there's things that we got to do oh cause Gloria I got your back by your side oh I'm just out of sight that you gave me it treated me well when I didn't have much cash it was something I had to sell Gloria I've been meaning to make it to see you yeah I hear the train is cheap I'll buy my ticket soon oh cause Gloria I got your back And you got mine too Yes, you got mine too And I'm just by your side I'm just out of sight 
So when I call you crying on the northern line, would you pray for me? Would you pray for me? Oh, when I call you crying on the northern line, would you pray? So Gloria, she was amazing. Um, she was like this 86-year-old, very Catholic Puerto Rican woman that just always she would look at me and be like, you're going out of the house and that? No, 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 you've got to go change. Put on my clothes, you know, that sort of thing, always. And uh, I really miss her spirit. And like I said, when, when she moved away, she left me her vehicle, and I sold it for 200 bucks to get a train ticket to go down to visit her in New York City. So that was pretty cool. I'm glad I did that. I had to sell the vehicle because the, th the acceleration was getting stuck down, the throttle, like the pedal. So it would literally go too fast and not stop. I had to pull it off into a, a hay field <laughs> to like slow it down and pull out the key really quick. It was dangerous. So I hope that whoever bought that for 200 bucks knew what they were getting themselves into. <laughs> This is kind of a funny style of song that I've written. I haven't writ written too many like this one. Um, it's a bit of a, a concept story of two people who I don't know at all. This is like really strange. Um, but it's two mentally ill people that are in love with each other, but because of their mental illness, they can't possibly make a relationship work. And uh, they're totally dysfunctional. And this is kind of like the lyrics of this song are the banter um, between both of them back and forth about why they can't possibly make it work. It's called Forgiving Me. called me back I had no notifications on my cell phone today she said yeah I understand don't take it personally ma'am it's just my conscience I can't stand I don't call you back if I don't feel like it and you should probably go or just know that I won't call you back for weeks I don't want to 
It's only cause I've been sitting Working on forgiving me Forgiving me He said, lady, I don't know why, but I'm usually drawn to that type. I too don't like it when I get called back. And I just, as a matter of fact, I won't, I won't call you back either. No, not at all. But what happens when neither of us call? I don't know. We could talk about it. We could laugh about it. We could cry. What could be worse than wondering why if we don't? Perhaps we should say, I do. But you see that I won't call you back for weeks If I don't want to It's only cause I've been sitting Working on forgiving me Forgiving me All of the things that are wrong Those I threw under the bus with a song For feeling like I don't belong I spend my time forgiving me Forgiving me Thank you. Thank you for listening to all my original music. That feels so good for me to play. Sans the uh, Joni Mitchell cover. I threw that in there because I was really feeling it. I wasn't going to, and I hope that's okay, but I did it. And I'm going to play you one more song. Thank you so much for coming out tonight, and I hope to see you in the future on this art artistic journey that I'm on. Thanks for supporting me. This one's called You Learn How to Live.
don't speak softly No, I don't regret When I'm trying my best Just to work with what's left You will tell when my mind Is totally lost Cause in bed at night I'll turn and I'll talk Don't leave me hanging alone at dark. No, I said, don't leave me hanging alone at dark. I said, don't leave me hanging alone at dark. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming out. Have a wonderful evening and be kind. Thanks. <laughs>